So as you guys know, Joe Manchin gutted the Build Back Better Act. Um, and so there is a report out. It says corporate donors gave to Manchin before announcement he wouldn't support Build Back Better. And so Joe Manchin has a lot of donors, uh, coal miner, like coal owner donors and stuff like that, big business donors. Uh, fossil fuel industry but he also apparently himself has like stakes in coal mine businesses um and i think they're in a blind trust but regardless he's he's making money from them so it's one thing to have your donors you know being beholden to your donors like you have donors that you have to vote in favor for because they're funding your campaign it's a whole nother level to literally be making money off of an industry <laughs> where your actions are going to impact that industry so it's a whole nother level that's just like blatant corruption um so it says, Senator Joe Manchin's political action committee saw a surge of contributions from corporate donors in the fall before his announcement that he would not support President Biden's Build Back Better social spending package. Biden unveiled the $1.75 trillion Build Back Better Act in October. According to CNBC's analysis of FEC filings, Manchin's leadership pack, Country Roads, received 36 donations from corporations in the last two months and raised close to $260,000 in that time period. In November, Country Roads PAC received corporate contributions in the range of 2.5k to 5k from donors including American Express, Goldman Sachs, Lockheed Martin, United Health Group, Blue Cross Blue Shield and CNX Resources, a natural gas company, last month, according to the news outlet. The total amount raised last month amounted to $110,000. Mansion's PAC raised over $150,000 in October from widely known corporations such as Verizon, Union Pacific, Wells Fargo, and PACs tied to the coal and mining industries, according to CNBC. So, He's getting a bunch of money from uh, packs that are tied to industries in the fossil fuel industry of coal and natural gas, etc. Um, and so what we see here is there's a bunch of, uh, you know, this one says Country Roads Pack also spent thousands of dollars on hotel arrangements and travel over the last two months, which includes spending more than $40,000 in November at the Greenbrier, a luxury resort that is owned by Governor Jim Justice's family. So this is just, you know, outright corruption going on, obviously. And again, like I said, it's way worse than just his donors, like donating him like 200K into his campaign. Again, th this is an industry, the fossil fuel industry is an industry that he himself profits off of. So it's just, it's essentially a whole, whole nother level of just blatant corruption. Now it's in a blind trust, but regardless, you know, he knows he has this stake, obviously. And so, you know, you're going to be voting in favor of boosting that industry. Now, this is the, the problem with lobbying, of course, and how uh, our politicians are corrupt and obviously not uh, serving uh, their people. Even I've seen uh, coal miners coming out and, and urging him to actually vote for the uh, Build Back Better Act. So he's clearly just being completely beholden to his own special interest as well as, you know, his donors for his campaign. Um and so it's important for people to be aware of this, of course. So this is absolutely terrible. Once again, another example of just blatant corruption going on in our government.